Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Pishan and welcome to Tech Scene Zay. Today, we're looking at turning an old PC into a smart box and running Android on If this is your first time here, you better make sure you subscribe because you're missing out on some awesome content. So the first thing that we need to do is jump on to the net and download Android x86, which is what we're going to be installing to our old PC. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is actually download Android x86. So for that, we can go to uh, androidx86.org and from here we can download. All you have to do is click download here and you choose whichever model you'd want to use. So I used um, OSDN. And then all the different um, packages are here. So you choose what works best for you. And I think most people use release four. And there is a 64-bit and a 32-bit version. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can actually go to Fossil Hub. And here you can see Android x86 62-bit, I mean 32-bit and 64-bit iOS file. Right. So once the file is completed downloading, we're going to need another piece of software called Rufus. So what Rufus does, it basically installs a bootable, uh, it creates a bootable USB with an ISO image, right? So here we select the USB that we're installing the iOS to, oh well, Android x86. Uh, don't interfere with anything else and we're going to select our ISO image. And then just select it, scanning the image and it picks up its own settings and we click start. So we want an ISO image, click OK, OK, and then we wait for this to complete. Right, so now that our USB is complete, we're going to disconnect it from this machine and then jump back to the machine that we're installing it on. Okay, so we have our USB here and this is my laptop that I use always to install these things because it is an extra, well, not really an extra, it is something that we don't use on a regular basis. But you don't have to use a laptop, you can use any old machine, even a, a PC that he runs an x86 uh, processor, right? So, all we're going to do, we're going to plug this in and we're going to set it up so that it boots from the USB and then you can see what happens after this. So after um, so after plugging in the USB, it auto ran on its own. So there are features that you could um, do with this. So you could install it to a hard drive, or you could uh, just boot off the USB, right? So here we are, already English, United States English. Although I speak the Queen, the Queen's English, right? We connect to Silver Fox. Enter the password. Right. Uh, connected to my Wi-Fi. So let's hit next. Uh, we don't want to copy data from another div another Android device, so we're just going to go straight into it. So this sees this device 
as an Android device thinking it's a tablet so it's asking for a password so I'm not gonna set anything up now right. and and that was it basically setting up a an Android a first time Android device and that's it and you already have Android uh, x86 installed it's basically Android software so let's get this thing to set up and then I'll show you some of the features so this has uh, there's Google here, there's Google Play services your email, I told it to download it is downloading YouTube for me okay so let's wait for that So here's our Google Play services. Uh, well, it's our it's our Google App Store. What is it called? It's the Google Play Store, and everything is in here. I mean, if you wanted, you could install basically anything that you'd find in the Play Store because this is an Android device, right? So some apps would look whether you're using a touch screen or not, but others that are not import well don't need those features would work fine. So from here, if we go YouTube, right? So swipe up, open YouTube. Look at that. Let's look up Tech Scene Zeddy. Okay, there it is. So Tech Scene Zeddy, let's watch our video. So, and it's simple as that. Is I mean, anything else you want to install? Okay, let's look at uh, Play Store. What else can you install? Uh, Google. Um, you could install DSTV now. Uh, wait, this yes, Show Max. I just saw it yesterday now. So this basically could work with any machine that has an x86 processor, right? So the reason that I decided to do this video was because, I mean, people are stuck at home and not everyone can afford a smart TV as well as uh, if you you'd have a PC lying around and you'd like to watch YouTube on your 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 TV and you would you you obviously couldn't afford a smart TV right or you can't well you can't even actually go out and buy a smart box at the moment because things are so a, a, the smart boxes used to be like 500 rand and now they are going for like 1200 rand and even the cheaper ones I must say myself I've bought like two 500 rand smart boxes one is still working to, to, to today it's the one that we have in our in the studio the other one it just stopped turning on and that is it there's nothing you can do about it so here you could build your own smart box with an old PC right Android running and now you can watch Netflix you can watch YouTube everything you want on the on your PC and you can hook it up to your to your TV and that's it All right so that brings us to the end guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know by giving a like rating if you did. And if you aren't already subscribed, get subscribed because you're missing out on some awesome content. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll see you in the next video.